Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have this bronzy eye look for you guys. And I'm doing a, another look, look number two, using the Amrezy and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So today I decided to go more bronzy since Amrezy is known for her bronzy looks. She is seriously iconic when it comes to those nice glowy bronzy looks. Um, so I was just like, well, you guys actually wanted me to do another um, tutorial using the palette. Um, who else bought the palette? Um, if you guys did, comment down below and let me know. And what are your thoughts so far? Um, I am obsessed with this palette. So if you guys have not had gotten the chance to actually purchase this, I definitely recommend it. Um, so for the skin, I don't think I filmed that. I am so sorry, do not kill me. Um, but if you guys are interested in the products that I do have on my skin today, I will link them down below in the description box. Um, sorry, I don't know if I did, I will insert the clips here for you guys in today's tutorial. I don't remember if I did or if I didn't. I used to have like a, a screen here that I'm able to connect to my camera. Unfortunately, my camera, um, if, as you guys already know, it's gonna, I think, die on me anytime soon. Um, so it doesn't work anymore. It won't connect to the screen. Now, I know it's not the screen because I did buy another one at Best Buy and it didn't work so I know that it's the camera. The technique hasn't changed at all um, so I'm sorry don't kill me <laughs> but we are we are here for the eyes um, and regarding this palette again so I hope you're not tired of me um, doing another look for you guys but this time obviously more bronzy a more wearable look. The other look that I just did on this palette is obviously more party makeup it's more going out um, it's not so much, you know, wearable. I mean, I guess you can wear that to a party if you are down. <laughs> um, but definitely a bronzy look is something that a lot of girls normally go for when you um, are gonna go out to a quinceanera, a wedding, or just a day out with your hubby or a night out with your girls and you want something more bronzy, then I really do hope you enjoy this eyeshadow tutorial today. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. But first, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you love bronzy looks as much as I do. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Besitos and I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. So I'm going to start off with my brows first. I'm going into the Benefit My Precisely Brow Pencil in shade number four, I believe. And when it comes to a bronzy look, I just love having a nice soft brow. So a brow pencil is my go-to every single time. Since we're going to be having more of a focus on the eyes, I want my eyebrows to not be as harsh. To prime my eyes, you guys, I'm going to go into the usual, the Urban K Eden Primer. And here we have the Anastasia in collab with um, Amrezy. I'm using the Morphe M441 and picking up the shade called OG. And I'm going to be placing this as my crease. Um, so start to blend it in the crease going back and forth. And I really like this brush by Morphe, the M441, because it's really fluffy. So it really moves the eyeshadow around. But at the same time, it's also buffing it um, and making it look really smooth on my lid. Switching brushes, I'm going to go into the Morphe M514 and it's just a smaller detailed brush and I'm picking up the shade called 1988, that nice dark brown and we're going to be creating kind of like a halo eye so we will apply this towards the outer corner as well as the inner corner of our eye. And then I do go back into the first brush that we used, the Morphe M441 and then I pick up a little bit of OG and start to blend these two shades together. And that's pretty much it, you guys, for the base. Now for the main lid shade, I'm gonna go into the, the Morphe brush M167 and picking up the shade called Georgina. I do not know, but you guys, this eyeshadow is so beautiful. Um, I did not apply any Fix Plus or setting spray. This is how it looks on the eyelid and I love it. It looks so bronzy. You can definitely even use this alone. Um, like do not put any transition color, just apply with a fluffy brush and put Georgina all over the lid. It's gonna give you a nice bronzy look for the summertime. Um, but I feel like this color is seriously one of my favorites. In the previous video that I did do using this palette, I did say that that Georgina is like a really, really pretty bronzy shade. So she did a fabulous job. <laughs> but just to make sure that everything is nice and blended, I'm gonna go into the Morphe M514 brush again and picking up a little bit more of OG and just going right on top of that. 
um, just so that everything looks seamless and that there are no harsh lines in our crease. To darken up the inner and outer corners, since we are going for more of a halo look, I'm picking up the Morphe S20 brush and going back into the shade called 1988 and darken up the inner and outer corner. But then I do go back into the Morphe um, M514 brush to just blend that out and make it look really smooth. And I want to show you guys a little up close and personal and look how stunning this looks. It looks super bronzy. I love it. I'm obsessed. I want to make my top lash line a little bit darker. Um, so I'm going to go into the shade called BK, that matte black, in my MAC 266. But I'm only placing this black matte shade really, really close to the lash line. Because once I do apply my lashes, I don't want any skin peeking through. But it also gives it a more smoky um, look. Picking up that glitter called Gemini, and I want to go into my Morphe M167. I did apply some um, setting spray because I was watching Amrezy's IG video, and she said to pick up the product first with the brush and then spray after. Um, so here you see me applying the glitter right on top of the shade called Georgina, that bronzy look that we applied. Um, but I felt like it looked more chunkier, the glitter did, so I didn't want that kind of look. And so I switched over to using my finger. And honestly, you guys, I feel like it applies it so much better with the finger. I didn't apply any um, setting spray or anything on my finger to apply it. I just went right directly into the pan. Um, so I would definitely recommend to use a finger and then use the brush to just spread out the glitter so that way it doesn't look like it's just um, in one spot. It looks spreaded and it looks more blended. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go into my Morphe M432, picking up a little bit of OG as well as the 1988 shade, um, and just start to smoke out my lower lash line. If you guys don't have this brush, it's one of the best brushes that I've used to smoke out my lower lash line, especially if you don't want it to go down too um, far down. This really helps to keep the product right underneath the lower lash line. Of course, you guys, don't forget to use my code GLAMFAM330 at the Morphe store for checkout and you'll take off $5 on, on any purchase of $10 or more. So remember, all the links will be down below for you guys to shop and save some money. For my waterline, you guys, I'm going to go into my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Demolition. It's a nice brown eye pencil. So another trick that I like to do, you guys, is I also like to smoke um, right in between the lashes on the lower lash line without trying to go too far down. It gives you a really nice smoky look. Now to blend out that liner, I'm going to go back into the shade called OG and I'm picking up this purple brush from Morphe. It does come in a set, which I will link down below, um, but I like to use it because it's really tiny and it really blends out my lower lash line really, really well. I went ahead and applied some lashes. I'm going into Blanca Flor Mink Lashes in the style Wake Up. And now I'm going to go into the Bad Gal Mascara by Benefit Cosmetics and I'm going to apply it towards the lower lashes. Oh my gosh, you guys. Also, I forgot to show you, but I did create a half baby wing at the outer corner of my eye. I don't know why I thought I was recording it, but I think I just applied it last minute. But honestly, it's just a little small baby wing at the outer corner of my eye. You guys can do it more thicker if you guys want. I just want something very small and subtle. For highlight, I'm going to go into the Artist Couture Illuminati. This is their um, glow powders, and I am using it the highlighter brush that I got um, in the set that I bought in collab with Grisella. It's the AC03, but I will add an alternative down below with Morphe brushes. I know that Morphe has one similar to this. Unfortunately, the Artist Couture, I couldn't find the brush online or on Sephora, so I don't think he's selling these brushes just yet. But of course, we have to apply Illuminati, one of the best glow powders that I love from Artist Couture. It gives me a nice bronzy glow and I love it. For lips, you guys, I'm going to go into the KKW Beauty and collab with Mario. This is the lipstick and the lip pencil. So the lip pencil is called Beauty Icon. It runs for $12 and I think they still have this available on KKW Beauty. The lipstick, unfortunately, is sold out. This one is called He's a Mixer. It's a matte um, nude, and it's honestly one of my favorite lipsticks from the KKW Beauty 
um, brand. Honestly, I love it. It's matte. It lasts forever and it just looks so freaking bomb. Um, definitely check out Ulta and see if maybe they have it in stores um, or just follow KKW Beauty online on Instagram and see if they're ever going to restock. But unfortunately, the lipstick is currently sold out online. And now the last step, you guys, is to set your makeup. I'm going to go into the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. Remember to shake the bottle first before you do spray or else you'll have white spots all over your face and that is not a cute look. And make sure that you take like a little piece of paper or whatever you have, a little fan, whatever, and dry your setting spray. And that's pretty much it, you guys, for today's eyeshadow look using the new M. Reezy in collab with Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette look number two. If you do recreate this, please tag me on Instagram and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys liked it. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much. Besitos, los quiero, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!